Rahim. Today we will talk about the Ventus or vacuum delivery. What is Ventus? It is a cup-shaped suction device applied to the baby's head in childbirth to assist birth by creating a vacuum or negative pressure between itself and the fetal scalp. What are the different parts of Ventus? Those include first of all suction cup of variable sizes. Secondly, the vacuum generator and the third important part is that of the traction tubing. Now we will talk about the procedure of Ventus delivery. First of all, I will make sure that there should be legitimate indication for Ventus delivery. I will introduce myself to the couple and explain the whole procedure and its needs and complications and take an informed consent. After fulfilling all the prerequisites and in the presence of senior staff, pediatrician, anesthetist and me as an obstetrician, I will go for the Ventus delivery. I will check the fetal heart rate first. Under good light and analgesia, I will put the patient in lithotomy position. After gowning and gloving, I will clean the vulva with antiseptic solution and drain the bladder. Then I will do the pelvic examination to assess the position and sta station of the presenting part. I will check that the system is working properly. I will apply povidone, a povidone iodine solution on the silicon cup, fold it and introduce it in the vagina and apply a 3 cm anterior to the posterior fentanyl in the midline on the sagittal suture. I will check that no maternal tissue is included in the cup. Then I will prime the system and build up the negative pressure gradually. Once the pressure has reached 2.2 kg per centimeter square, it is rechecked for the inclusion of the soft tissue in the cup and then gradually take it to the maximum of 0.8 kg per centimeter square to create a check known of 10 to 20 mm murky in between contractions. I will delay traction for 2 minutes to allow check known to form. Then I will apply traction at the right angle to the cup synchronous with the uterine contractions and maternal bearing down efforts in the direction of the birth canal. During traction, I will apply counter pressure with my left hand by keeping thumb on the anterior part of the cup and finger on the scalp to prevent slipping and head descent with the traction. I will make sure that descent should occur with a three pull. Delivery should occur within three pulls over 15 minute time. When the head grounds, I will ask my assistant to give generous episiotomy if needed and support the perineum. With the further traction, the head will deliver. As soon as the head is delivered, I will reduce the vacuum pressure and ease off the cup from the scalp and will complete the delivery in a normal way. I will give Sintocinone, cut the cord between the clamps and hand over the baby to a pediatrician. Then I will deliver the placenta and check for its completeness and membranes as well. After that, I will stitch the episiotomy by using proper episiotomy technique. I will examine the genital tract for trauma and repair it if it, if it is present. Once I am fully satisfied, then I will clean the patient, cover her up and shift her to the recovery room. It's very important to be vigilant with the PPH which is a complication of the vacuum delivery. I will write down the detailed notes for the date, time and my signature because documentation is very important. It's very important to know when to abandon the traction. First of all, abandon the traction between contractions. And secondly, if audible hiss is heard, that signal the loss of the vacuum so we should abandon the traction. And thirdly, when there is no evidence of progression, no descent, and when the delivery is not imminent following three contractions after correctly applied instrument by experienced operator, it means that we need to abandon the traction. What are the contraindications of Ventus delivery? Those include first of all, the non-vertex presentation. Secondly, the preterm baby of less than 34 weeks of gestation. Thirdly, when we have certain bleeding disorders or when there is a capit formation, when there is unengaged head, when there is evidence of cephalopelvic disproportion or the fetal macrosomia, or when we have the dead or anomalous fetus, in all these conditions, the Ventus delivery is contraindicated. Now, how to provide the post-operative care after the Ventus delivery? First of all, thromboprophylaxis is very important. Secondly, we need to give pain relief to the, uh, to the patients in the form of paracetamol or diclofenic sodium. Thirdly, the timing and volume of the first wide urine should be monitored. 
and special care should be provided to those patients who sustain the third and fourth degree perineal tears. Encourage SVD in the next pregnancy. So thank you so much. That was all about the event or the vacuum delivery. Subscribe on Ops and Gaini. Allah Hafiz.